Hello again, welcome to the third video tutorial on Power Music. In this video tutorial I'm going to look at adding sheet music and in particular adding sheet music from PDF file. Uh, PDFs are one of the most popular ways of distributing music just now, both on CD and on the internet. So, to add our new song we click on the link here, add new song, or alternatively we can just click on the icon up here to add a new song. When we do that we get our add new song window opening up. It's a piece of sheet music we're going to add, so we're going to click on the sheet music tab here. And when we do that, you'll see there are two options for adding sheet music into Power Music. We can either open a PDF file, or we can scan music directly into Power Music using a scanner. We're going to open up a PDF file, so we click on here, and we browse to our PDF file. Here's the piece I want to put in. And when I do that, Power Music opens up a PDF browser. This preview is the music on the screen here, and we can see there are five pages to this piece of music. We can move through them by clicking on the arrows here, or we can just click on one of the page numbers here, and it takes us straight to it. I want to import all five pages of this, however, if this was a complete songbook and I only wanted to import one of the songs, I would just put text beside the pages that I actually want to import. So I'm going to put the ticks beside the five pages here, say OK to that, and it's now asking me for a name for the sheets of music I'm putting in. So I'm just going to call it Elise and say OK to that. And what's happening now is that the PDF file has been converted into a Power Music sheet music file. And here we see it displayed on the screen. Here are the uh, sheets of music displayed down here. And we can preview this full screen to see how it looks. Just click on the preview button and by tapping the foot pedal or using the keyboard we can look through our music. Now in a screen this size obviously I think we'd want at least two columns of music side by side. So that's easy. We just go up here and say change this to two columns. Preview it again. Yes, I think that's much better. Two side by side. What I want to do now is to add an audio file to this. I have an audio file, an mp3, of someone playing this piece of music. It would be useful if I'm practicing playing it myself, so I'm going to add the audio file. Click on here, and it takes me to my music library. I select the piece of music I want and open it, and that's that piece of music now attached to that sheet music. Notice we don't actually make a copy of the music. All we're doing is pointing to where the music is on your computer. If I wanted to preview it to check it's the right piece of music, just click on here. Yep, that's the right piece of music, that's fine. Okay, let's stop the preview just now. Okay, we need to now uh, put in the key for this piece of music, and the key piece of music is an A minor, so I can do that there. And finally, I'm going to give it a title, and I'm going to give it the title for a lease. Say OK to that. Last thing I need to do now is, after I've put the title in, I've added an audio file, I've set the key, I've put my music in, I need to save it. So I go to my save icon up here, click on save, warns me I haven't set up tags for the song yet. In a later tutorial I'll talk about the advantages of tagging songs, but we'll just leave that for the moment, say OK to that, it's been added, and we're now back to our Power Music screen. If we go to our All Songs, and we just type in the title here, you'll see it jumps immediately to it here. I could add it into my playlist, and then display it full screen, and there we have it, ready for performing. Tap my foot pedal, and I can go through it page at a time. If I want to listen to my audio at the same time, just click on there and play it. And if I want rid of the sidebar because it's taking up space, press P and it will disappear. And we can go back and forward through the music. And that's how easy it is to add sheet music from PDF. In other tutorials, I'll show you how to add some sheet music from a scanner. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for listening.